Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever needed to export your Figma designs into Adobe Illustrator, you know it can be a bit tricky to get the format just right. But don't worry, today I'll walk you through a smooth step-by-step -step process for converting your Figma vectors to AI files so you can seamlessly bring your designs into Illustrator. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to take your Figma creations and open them directly in Adobe Illustrator without losing vector quality or getting hung up on compatibility issues. All right, let's get started. So right in front of me, I've got a vector design in Figma. Now, when you're prepping anything for export, a quick tip, double check that all your layers are named properly and any grouped elements are precisely how you want them to appear in Illustrator. It's always easier to tidy up in Figma rather than after export. Our first step is to export this design as an SVG. In Figma, just select the elements or the frame you want to export, then look for the export option, usually at the bottom right of your window. Find SVG as the file format. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, so it preserves all the path and shape data, which is key for bringing your designs into another vector software like Illustrator. Hit Export and save that SVG file somewhere on your computer where you'll easily find it, like the desktop or a project folder. Now here's the part where we bridge from Figma to Illustrator. Open a new browser tab and type in SVG to AI. You'll see several online converters pop up. These tools are specially built for switching vector file formats. Pick a reputable converter, for example, sites like cloudconvert.com or Convertio. Co tend to work well and they're free for simple file conversion tasks. Just make sure you're not uploading anything sensitive if you're using a third-party service. Once the converter page loads, you'll usually see a button that says Choose Files, click that, and navigate to the SVG file you just exported from Figma. Then make sure the output format is set to AI, which stands for Adobe Illustrator. It might take a moment for the converter to prepare the files, so don't worry if you see a loading icon or progress bar. When you're all set, hit the Convert button. The converter tool will work its magic, transforming your SVG file into an AI file. The time it takes depends on the file size and how complex your vector design is. For most simple logos or illustrations, it should only be a few seconds. Once it's ready, you'll see a download link, so click to grab the AI file. All right, almost done. Locate the AI file in your downloads folder. Give it a double click and it will open right up in Adobe Illustrator. You'll see your vector design looking crisp and editable, just like you made it in Figma. But now you can take advantage of all Illustrator's powerful tools for fine tuning, print setup, or even collaborating with a designer who prefers Adobe software. And there you go, that's the fast and effective workflow for moving your Figma files to AI. If you run into any little hiccups like path issues or missing fonts, just remember that both SVG and AI formats are flexible, so you can usually tweak things with a few adjustments in Illustrator. If you found this tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up. Got any questions or maybe a tip of your own for moving files between Figma and Illustrator? Drop a comment below, I always love hearing from you. And if you want more practical design tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching and happy designing.